to thank you, Senator Dunning. We now move to 611, standing in the name of Senator Hanson. Senator Hanson. Thank you very much. I ask that general business notice the motion 611, proposed the in proposing the introduction of a bill, be taken as formal. Is there any objection to this motion being taken as formal? There being none, I call Senator Hanson. I move that the following bill be introduced. A bill for an act to amend the Sex Discrimination Act of 1984 and for related purposes. So the question is, the motion is moved by Senator Hanson be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. aye. Against? I believe the ayes have it. Senator Hanson. I present the bill and move that this bill may proceed without formalities and be read now a first time. So the question is, the motion is uh, Senator Hodg Hodgins may? Leave to make a short statement. Uh, leave is granted for one minute. The Greens will not allow One Nation to use parliamentary privilege to deny the existence of the trans and gender diverse community. We will not give Pauline Hanson a platform for hate. Trans rights are human rights and they are non-negotiable. We must work towards a safer world for the trans and gender diverse community. The gender diverse community deserve to feel safe, respected and valued, living their lives treated as equals and free from discrimination. The immediate and widespread backlash against the Prime Minister's decision to exclude questions on gender, sexuality and intersex characteristics from the 2026 census proved that the wider community will always reject bigotry and hate. It's a relief that the government has half reversed that decision, but there is still so much work to be done. The Greens will always stand in solidarity with the trans community against hatred and bigotry. Uh, Senator Hodgins, may I remind you, when addressing senators in this uh, chamber, to use their correct title. Senator Dunningham. President, I seek leave to make a short statement. Leave is granted for one minute, Senator Thank Dunningham. You. Uh, while the Senate has the opportunity to reject a bill at, first reading, uh, at the first reading stage, in practice the first re reading is almost always passed without opposition and is regarded as a purely formal stage. And the Coalition supports these normal procedures, as we have with many Greens, Labor and other crossbench bills that we have had opposition to. The normal process enables bills to be fairly considered and debated by the Senate before a substantive decision is taken, and it should only be de deviated from in the most extreme of circumstances, lest we deny the Order. right— Please continue, Senator Dunningham lest we deny the right of senators to even have matters debated. As in all cases, a vote on the first reading should not be taken as a position on the substantive legislation, especially where a bill has not had the opportunity to be subject of a normal internal process. Thank you, Senator Dunian. Uh, Minister Gallagher. Uh, thank you. I seek leave to make a short statement. Is leave granted? Leave is granted for one minute. Uh, thank you. I wasn't going to make a statement, but I think in, uh, following on from Senator Dunian's contribution, um, he is correct in, in many of his remarks, but he, uh, we have also chosen um, not to support the first reading on matters that it, uh, you know, are extremely serious and do cause significant division and harm in the community. The Senate has chosen, when that is appropriate, and it is very rare, uh, to not support the first reading. Um, certainly the government believes, um, and we will be opposing the first reading of this bill, believes that this uh, bill falls into that category. The, the division, the hurt, the pain that that causes uh, for gender undiverse uh, members or gender diverse members of the community is real. Uh, and the sooner the Senate realises that and takes responsibility for causing that harm, the better. Uh, we should not be allowing something like this to come into this chamber. We have to stand up and support all members of our community. Uh, thank you, Minister. Yeah. Uh, Senator Hanson. Leave to make a short statement. Uh, leave is not granted, Senator Hanson. Oh. Oh. So the question is that the One. order, the question the question is that the motion is moved by Senator Hanson be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. aye. Against? No. I believe the noes have it. Aye. Division required. Uh, ring the bells for four minutes.
Lock the doors. So the question is that um, the first reading on Senator Hanson's introduction of a bill be agreed to. The ayes shall move to the right of the chair, the noes to the left. I appoint Senator Askew as teller for the ayes and Senator Urquhart as teller for the noes. Order. There being 27 ayes and 32 noes, the matter is resolved in the negative. We'll now move to general business notice of motion number 612, standing in the name of Senator Waters. I don't think your mic's on. I'll just call That's you again. Fault. Senator Waters, thanks. Thanks, President. I ask that general business notice of motion number 612 be taken as a formal motion. Is there any objection to this motion being taken as formal? There being none, I'll call Senator Waters. I move the motion. So the question is that general business notice of motion number 612, standing in the name of Senator Waters, be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. Against? I believe the ayes have it. Uh, 614's withdrawn. And Senator Henderson, Senator Henderson 615. Uh, thank you, President. Due to the committee resolving to extend the reporting date, take further submissions and hold another public um, hearing in relation to this inquiry, I withdraw the motion. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Senator Henderson.